hey guys and welcome back to another video and fornia here so today in this video um i'm gonna be making a outworld and introducing this new colony of trapped out ants into my bigger colony of ants which i have um when i say bigger colony of ants i mean like all my ants like i call my all my ants a community so i'm gonna be introducing these guys to my bigger ant community and just um you know, making a setup for them because they are. There's two different types. There's fully uh, cholesterol and semi or non, whatever it is, which means that um, the ants they do not. Uh, she's bringing her, her eggs into the test tube. Um, that means this. That means they. Uh, she does not. Uh, they need food. They cannot go without food during their chambers when they are laying eggs. So she does need food while she is laying eggs. So I'm just gonna make her set up and then add her into there. Okay, now I'm gonna need some tools. Reminder, if you do this, make sure you guys go outside because um, I just learned that the hard way. It puts a lot of dust in the air and everything. So this is the final product. It has a hole here where I'm gonna put the hydration and then it connects so they're gonna be able to walk actually on top of the hydration and whatever is so the actually this whole floor area right here is gonna be hydration and then the rest of this nest right here is gonna be dry and a little humid from the hydration area here but yeah this is what it turned out to be it looks nice Okay, now I'm gonna add her into the setup, which is right here, and see how she does.
here's some information about them. Um, some information you guys need to know if you guys are getting the species or gonna keep the species or have the species is that um, they are, they do bite, like they will bite. They are aggressive, very, very aggressive species. Um, they do need food during their founding stages. Um, they cannot be left in a test tube or they will die. Like I tried to say early on in the video, they are fully, they aren't fully, they are uh, semi. I can't put cholesterol, I can't pronounce that word right. So they do need food and a space to find food during their founding stages so they cannot be left in the test tube, I repeat. Um, more information is that they can jump. So I would um, put them in a the container they can jump out of, like by container here. The setup is perfect for them. Um, they do need heat around 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. They, um, they will um, tend to go towards moisture areas. She is in the sponge area uh, with heat. Um, the colony only tends to grow to 75 to 80 workers usually. Um, so if you're expecting a big colony like Myrmecarubias or Solenopsis species or um, yellow crazy ant species, which tend to grow into the thousands or plus, this uh, uh, species, sorry, will only grow up to 70 to 80 in their, co uh, in their colony. Uh, which is normal for them. Um, a little more information is that they I don't tend to see them being very picky. If they're hungry, they're going to eat because they're hungry. Um, I feed her millworms and honey as this um, point in her stage of bounding. Uh, any information um, that I didn't cover that you guys need to know, just put in the uh, comment down in the description and I should be able to answer that for you. And one more big thing I've covered, but I'm going to keep saying it, is that this species does bite and they do have, um, they will sting, they do have venom. So they can sting you and they will bite you and they're very painful, I've heard. They're one of the most, they're up there on the rank. So they're very, very painful and they will bite you. Their bite, uh, they can bite at I think 100 to 30 to 80 miles per hour on their bite um, with their jaw. So very, 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 very careful. It's one of the fastest animals and insect bites in the whole world. So if you do keep the species, please, please, please keep your hands away and remember that they do bite and it's very, very um, hurtful. But that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know down in the description if you guys have this colony or I'm um, gonna get it in the future. Um, hopefully this video is helpful for you guys that own this colony or getting it in the future. Um, uh, hope you guys like the nest and the setup too of the Outworld and Nest in One. It was pretty fun to do. I think I'm gonna make some more in the future. It was pretty fun. I like the way, um, the grout was because it's hard but then not too hard to carve so yeah i thought it was gonna be a pain but it's actually pretty easy um if you guys like any of my setups please let me know dm me on instagram i can make you guys some or let you guys know how they're made um to help you guys out <coughs> but yeah that's the video um join in next week at 9 30 a.m uh, pacific time i put post on fridays uh and then the website's gonna be up soon that's pretty much it. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm just another fellow ant lover on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, bye-bye.